Praise the Lord. Shalom. Welcome to Walking with God. Today, I would like to share with you a testimony about the great work that God did in my life a few years ago when I conceived my first son. The Bible says in Psalm 103 verse 2, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The reason why I want to share with you this testimony is to encourage you and to strengthen you that when we have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, we can see how beautifully the Lord works in our lives. Even when situations go out of control, God is still in control of the lives of his children. He has promised never to leave us nor forsake us and he is always there with us taking care of us. This testimony is um, divided into three phases. The first phase is uh, the first four months that I was carrying and then the five, six and the seventh month and the third one is um, the last couple of months before delivery. I got married um, in the year 2008 and after six months or so I conceived. I did not know that I was carrying but I had a very terrible stomach pain and it was so bad that I used to actually roll with pain. So we went and we visited a gynec and when she checked me she said that uh, this is not gynec related you have to consult a general physician. So we went to a general physician and he uh, prescribed a few medicines and he gave me about a uh, five days uh, course that I have to follow. After five days when I went back for a review, he said that uh, let us continue these medicines for uh, some more time so that in case you have any infection in your stomach or if there are you know any uh, living organisms, then it will be flushed out from your body. So like that, uh, the course, I ended up taking that those medicines for about a month and even after a month that stomach pain did not reduce, I still had those pains on and off so when I went to the doctor again after a month he told me that um, my wife is a gynec so once you get yourself checked with her and when I went to that uh, lady doctor she checked and she said this is not any uh, gynec issue so nothing to worry about and both the husband and the wife both the doctors they suggested that I should take an x-ray so that uh, they wanted to check whether my kidneys are uh, functioning properly or not so I ended up taking an x-ray when I was carrying and uh, without knowing the fact that I conceived. This reminds me of a verse in the Bible from Psalm 139 verse 4. It says, There is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You have hedged me behind and before. I did not know at that time that I am supposed to pray for my protection or for the protection of my baby. In my prayers, there was not even a word related to protection. All I would say, all I would pray is that, Lord, what is happening to me? Why is this happening to me? Please deliver me soon from this stomach pain. And uh, whenever I used to take those medicines, for each medicine I used to pray, saying that, Lord, you bless this medicine that it should not have any negative effect on my health and it should just work for my good. That's all I was praying about. But God knew inside out and so he was graciously protecting both me and the baby and in the same Psalm 139 when we read in verse 15 it says my frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret see it was hidden from me or from my husband or even the doctors did not know that I conceived but it was not hidden from the Lord the Lord knew it all and that is why he was protecting both of us all through the while so after all these incidents, one of our well-wishers told us that uh, there is a very good gynec uh, at so-and-so place. So why don't you just go and visit her once and see why this pain is recurring. So that time when we went to the gynec, then when they got the test done, then we got to know that I conceived and uh, already three months of pregnancy has been completed. No, honestly, it was mixed feelings feelings of great joy that i conceived and at the same time great fear because i had taken so many medicines and also i had taken an x-ray for my stomach and when we had the meeting with the doctor she called for her assistance and she brought um, two big fat books and she looked for all the medicines that i took during that one month's time and she told us just one thing she said uh, annie as a doctor 
to a person who is carrying i would not even prescribe a dolo 650 i would i would give it only if it is very very necessary and you my girl have taken so many medicines and to top it all you also have an x-ray and do you know what happens when x-ray hit the stomach when a lady is carrying the rays can go through the child and the organs might not be formed properly so there are always chances that you will have an abnormal child so i highly recommend that uh, you discontinue this pregnancy and uh, you stop this here and later she told the word she said uh, if you have faith in god then probably you can carry on and that time my husband and i we decided and we told the doctor that yes we have complete faith in God and we would like to continue the pregnancy so it was written specifically in my case sheet that uh, the doctor has advised to uh, discontinue the pregnancy however the parents want to go ahead with it so this was what happened uh, during the first four months then uh, in the sixth seventh month uh, it was November December time and there were uh, 40 days uh, fasting prayers that were going on in the church of course I was not fasting because I was carrying but yes I attended those meetings and one beautiful experience was that whenever I used to go to the church to attend these meetings you know whoever met me the believers you know my, my uh, uh, the church members they always told me whoever meets me they would tell me Annie we are praying for you and we are praying for your child Annie every day you are there in my prayer list so we are praying for you don't worry you're going to have a safe delivery you know uh, when I used to hear these words from my close ones from my close friends from my well-wishers from the believers it gave me a kind of strength a kind of courage that yes God is in control and God is going to take care of it till the end James chapter 5 verse 16 says the earnest prayer of a righteous man has great power and produces wonderful results in the New Testament we read that when the church prayed when the believers prayed God heard their prayers and gave them great victory and great deliverance and I'm so thankful to God for giving me such people in my life who prayed for me earnestly throughout the time that I was carrying and that itself gave me a great strength and great courage now comes the uh, last two months I remember I used to go for walks with my husband and I used to share with him with lot of excitement that um, um, there are only few weeks left and uh, I'm going to have a normal delivery it's going to be both challenging and exciting and he would just uh, look at me and say that um, I somehow feel in my heart that you're going to have a cesarean and I would give him just one look and say how could you say that I'm going to have a cesarean I will have a normal delivery you are supposed to encourage me and support me and rather you are telling me that I'm going to have a cesarean he would still smile and say that is what I strongly feel in my heart that you're going to have a cesarean recently I read an article uh, Nigeria it has the highest maternal mort mortality rates and when they did a research and found out the reason the one and the top reason was that the patients were not agreeing to go for a cesarean even if they knew that it is going to save their life I think I was also sailing in the same boat where if anybody said cesarean I was like God forbid it but only later I understood that whether it is a cesarean or a normal delivery that is secondary but what is more important is to have a safe delivery and to have a healthy baby so yes um, I had a cesarean and I had um, my son being born and the first thing that all of us did you know the, the doctors the nurses and uh, when the baby was brought out my husband my mother all that they first did was to check if the baby if all the uh, organs are properly formed if the baby is normal if the baby is healthy and by God's grace everything went on safe and we had a healthy baby and I praise and thank God for that we named him Daniel Kiran Daniel because uh, I like the verse in the Bible in the first chapter that it says that Daniel purposed in his heart that he will not defile himself so with the hope that even our son would 
purpose in his heart not to defile himself with this world but he is going to live a separated and holy life for God and another reason why we named him Daniel is because Daniel was called God's beloved his uh, full name is Daniel Kiran Kiran means light actually uh, none of uh, my family members from my husband's side are uh, saved uh, they have they are yet to know the lord my husband is the first one who has come to the lord so with the hope that our son is going to be that light to them to bring them to the lord to bring them to the gift of salvation we named him daniel kiran and i strongly believe that god has a great purpose in his life and that is why he has protected and preserved him from his mother's womb i would like to conclude my testimony with one of my favorite verses from the bible romans chapter 8 verse 28 says and we know that all things work together for good to those who love god to those who are called according to his purpose i believe that this testimony will be a great blessing for you and remember god is always in control and all things work for our good amen subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone